Hi, hello to El Taiwan. You don't know what I'm capable of. I built something, something solid that's all yours. What the hell is all this? And no one is taking it away. It's not what you expect. I think it really takes you by surprise. The show it may present as one thing, but it's a it's a unique journey with an antihero.、Uh, we meet Sheila at a breaking point. Sheila Rubin, the character I play, and she、uh, is you know harbors a dreadful secret, and、uh, she's in a dysfunctional marriage. Despite the sort of happy settings and her appearance, where she looks perfect and is acting perfect, but、uh, is is secretly. You know, at a breaking point, and、um, through aerobics, she finds this kind of unlikely way out. She's incredibly intelligent, I think, and doesn't know how to. You see her; she strategizes her entire, the entire political campaign for her her, her husband. She knows how to manage him, and she's、uh, she's she wants a seat at the table. I think she's ambitious, so she just can't articulate it. She doesn't know how. Well, we're very different. I mean, it, it's it's interesting. You know, she's a she's a product of the 1970s, the 1960s. She's really a a former activist who's come to the 80s feeling kind of disillusioned, I think. And that was really interesting. I had just finished doing Mrs. America, which covered that era, and Sheila is a child of that movement. Obviously, this is a very domestic story. It's very intimate and different, but、uh, it was very informative in terms of like the emotional、uh, charge within her. I had some incredible,、uh, vint- you know, pieces, beautiful pieces from,、um, oh gosh, Christian Dior. A couple of gorgeous pieces from Christian Dior.、Um, but I'm funny. But by the end of a shoot, I never want to see anything again. I'm so done. I just want to move on. Like, <laughs>、um, but the look of the show is very specific.、Uh, Cami Lennox is our costume designer, and she just, you know. It's it's it, it's a it's an era that is so portrayed and can be made fun of and could easily look like a sketch on a comedy show, but to make it look authentic and feel lived in and real is a different is a different thing, a different challenge. And I feel with the set design and the costume design and the hair and makeup design was was really pretty brilliant.、Uh, we have a fantastic choreographer Jennifer Hamilton who works on the show, so her and I started to do、uh, classes on Zoom, you know, months in advance to work on Sheila's moves. Which was interesting because you know she starts out she's not particularly good and then she becomes more accomplished and then obviously as the show unfolds you see the story but it was it was very fun and I could see why it's addictive it's a it's an incredible high you get after that and、uh, it, I I understand why at the time everybody really referred to it like feeling a little bit like a cult you know like there's a place where good people do this and all the women are like this in the hair and it was the beginning of that era of really like the me era as opposed to the we era of the 1970s and 60s. I think it's a, it's a story I haven't seen represented on screen that much, depicted in a way that 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 you can relate to, and、um, and I think when you see anything you can relate to, it's emotional and it's moving. Don't underestimate me. Go get him, Tiger.